Is Chainlink still a buy at $30? Let's find out. It's 2021 and the bull run is really starting to get underway. Massive gains are being made all over the crypto space and all-time highs are being set for most cryptos almost every single week. Many cryptos are up over 10x in the past year, including Bitcoin and Ethereum, with channel favorites such as VeChain up around 50x from the lows of March last year. The overall crypto space is pushing again towards a $2 trillion overall market cap, as more and more news coverage and publicity is putting crypto into the eyes of the public more than perhaps ever before. With institutional and retail investment flooding into the space, we appear to be currently in a golden age of cryptocurrency, with new exciting protocols and projects coming out every single week, many of them in the niche of DeFi. Binance Smart Chain has been one of the recent revelations in the space, as a short-term alternative to Ethereum's currently struggling congested network. The bull run will likely continue for the next six months or so until a euphoria triggers a bear market due to parabolic unhealthy price action for all cryptocurrencies. To avoid getting wrecked by the market, it's always important to remember that smart investors will be taking profits on the way up and on the way down in these markets, because as we all know, crypto is extremely volatile. Prices can move up amazingly quickly and huge gains can be made, but the profits can just as easily turn against investors, so it's important to plan for all contingencies. Chainlink is set to benefit massively in the future as these protocols rely on its technology continue to flourish. And in this video, we'll be discussing whether or not Chainlink is still a buy at the current valuation of $30. Make sure to watch the video till the end for all the essential information. This is not financial advice and is for entertainment purposes only. We always stress that you do your own due diligence. Please like and subscribe for daily videos and hit the bell icon and turn on all notifications. YouTube does gatekeep some cryptocurrency content, so to get access to this time sensitive information immediately, make sure to turn on all notifications. If you'd like to support the channel more directly, you can sign up to our Patreon via the link in the description below, where you can get access to our private Discord. Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Let's begin. Chainlink investors have been met with some frustration in the past month or so as Chainlink has not been moving up much from around the $30 mark. Since a run in December from around $10 to $36 before a recent correction in consolidation, many investors have been left scratching their heads about the reasons for Chainlink stalling out, especially considering the sheer amount of utility and integrations that it's currently offering. More projects every single week, especially in the DeFi space, are coming out based on Chainlink Oracle technology, so it seems strange that Chainlink itself has not moved much as a result. The reason for the current stalling of price seems to be Chainlink's basis on Ethereum, and the correlation between their price action is fairly accurate in the past few months. Because Chainlink is based on Ethereum technology, the problem that Ethereum is currently facing seems to also be affecting the price action of Chainlink as a result. When you compare the price action of Chainlink and Ethereum in the past three months, their action is fairly similar, and the current crisis on Ethereum network seems to be holding back Chainlink in the short term. Ethereum is currently experiencing a massive amount of traffic on their network due to success and adoption, especially in the past year due to the explosion of DeFi, also massive for Chainlink, and even more recent emergence of NFTs, and how huge the market is becoming. NFTs are being talked about in the mainstream non-stop at the moment, and this is driving more traffic to Ethereum, where most NFT projects are based. However, Ethereum does not currently have the technology implemented to scale effectively for the sheer number of users that it currently has, and as a result the speed of the network has decreased dramatically, along with an incredibly sharp rise in fees. Ethereum are working on implementing their Ethereum 2.0 upgrade this year, which will bring their second generation proof of work smart contract platform to the third generation proof of stake consensus mechanism. This massive upgrade to the network will be incredibly good for the platform overall, but the upgrade is leading to a current uprising of miners of Ethereum, with them claiming that they are going to lose out heavily as a result. Miners are benefiting massively from the currently inflated gas fees of Ethereum, as they receive them as part of the rewards for mining Ethereum, and thus have an incentive to veto any plans to change the network, even if it's for the better. In either case, it seems like the team at Ethereum are planning to implement the EIP-1559 upgrade, even at the behest of the miners, and this upgrade is one of the first steps toward Ethereum 2.0. The upgrade changes the mechanics of fee mechanisms on the platform, paying the fees directly to the network rather than to the miners, 
The miners are trying to rebel against this decision so they don't lose out, but currently the wider network and its users are suffering heavily and the decision to implement the upgrade has been accepted and is set to be implemented in June-July time. So what does this all mean for Chainlink? Chainlink currently seems to be suffering heavily from its affiliation with Ethereum and has not moved up past its all-time high in weeks now. A lot of consolidation is currently happening with Chainlink, and without a large piece of news or a significant pump to the whole market, in the very short term it does not seem likely that Chainlink will move significantly until Ethereum manages to work out some of the issues on their network. However, as the bull run progresses, it's very likely that these issues will be resolved and Chainlink will have its own news to come out and create interest and buzz around the project again. With all the incredible utility and possibility for Chainlink in the long term, there is still so much to be bullish on with Link despite its current period of consolidation in the market. However, because Chainlink is yet to pump more despite the massive amount of money flowing into the space in the bull run, Smart investors may see this as an opportunity to accumulate an asset that has an amazing fundamentals and huge adoption. <laughs> the potential for the future of Chainlink really is enormous, and investors could see themselves being rewarded heavily for getting into Chainlink at these prices. One thing we like to mention on this channel is that it's easy to chase cryptos that have already run up hundreds of percent, and FOMO into them as a result, but buying cryptos that have already run up so much often leaves investors exposed to a downturn. In 2017, many people FOMO'd into Bitcoin at the top of the market at 20k because they couldn't bear to watch it run anymore and not get involved. And then in the next month, the price more than halved as a result. Buying cryptos that have already pumped is the easiest way to get wrecked because in cryptocurrency sentiment can change very quickly. Buying quality projects that have not yet pumped and being patient in the market is one of the best ways to invest and it often leads to amazing results. Many may see the current price action of Chainlink as boring, whilst others may see it as a golden opportunity to get into a cryptocurrency with huge potential still at a reasonable entry point. If the time horizon is long, then getting into Chainlink at around $30 may be a good time to accumulate, especially considering its huge fundamentals. The technology for Chainlink is an incredible reason to be bullish on the project, because it has essentially founded one of the biggest revolutions in the world of crypto so far which is DeFi, or Decentralized Finance. This is the main reason we're so bullish on Chainlink on this channel, especially in the long term, because DeFi has an untold amount of potential to capture market share from the wider world and is already providing accessible utility to users globally, all thanks to the Oracle technology of Chainlink. Because Link can track real-world datasets with its oracles, a whole ecosystem of smart contract platforms designed for financial tools and services is developing rapidly across many smart contract platforms. DeFi has already seen the emergence of DEXs, or decentralized exchanges, which is one of the most adopted innovations so far. A DEX is essentially an exchange not run by any centralized entity, and almost anyone can connect their wallet and trade tokens via the interface anonymously. The adoption for this innovation alone has been massive, with exchanges such as Uniswap and the recent Binance smart chain PancakeSwap getting exceptional adoption and trading volumes. Stablecoins are also another innovation made possible by Chainlink, which are coins that track a fiat currency such as the dollar one for one. This means that the value of the currency is stable and can be used for a variety of purposes including lending to exchanges for a yield to users or for taking profits on an investment into to cash out gains that users don't want to offer up immediately into their bank account. There are so many facets to cover under DeFi that it could be 30 minute video if we listed them all but the vast majority of utility in this space relies on Chainlink's oracles. And in the long term as this space grows, Chainlink is going to benefit incredibly from its extended list of partnerships. When you combine this with another added piece of news that Chainlink will be very likely receiving its own grayscale trust, more and more ways to invest into Chainlink, especially from the wider world of mainstream investors, are becoming available, and this all means more investment into Chainlink. With over 300 projects now based on Chainlink's technology, and with the list growing every single week, it's hard not to be bullish on Chainlink in the long term because of all these integrations. As each of these protocols grow, they'll need to increase their holdings of Chainlink to continue to benefit from the technology. By this logic, you can reason that if you expect cryptocurrency to succeed as a whole in the future, it's more likely than not that Chainlink will be growing massively in the years to come. When you consider all of this, you can answer the question of whether or not Chainlink is still a buyer at $30, and the answer depends heavily on the time horizon of the investor. Shorter term investors may find themselves frustrated with Chainlink's lack of upwards price action over the next few months if the period of consolidation continues. 
If the affiliation with Ethereum is causing the price to stall out, it could be months before the situation starts to be addressed effectively and the price of LINK really starts to pump. However, if the time horizon for the investor is much longer, it seems hard to deny that Chainlink will perform exceptionally well in the future, based on the sheer amount of utility it's providing to so many different projects, along with the adoption that it's already receiving. Use case and adoption are the two most important elements of a successful cryptocurrency in the long term, and Chainlink has these in abundance. If Chainlink performs similarly to how it did in 2017 once it begins to pump, it could easily reach $1,000 per token, but depending on the current price action issues with Ethereum, this may or may not happen this year. As a conservative estimate, Chainlink could reach at least $500 or more on current performance and price action. But if these issues are resolved, and Chainlink gets more adoption in the wider world, the performance of Chainlink this year could shock everyone as a result. In these instances, an entry point of $30 would still give fantastic returns on investment in the next 6 months or so. So what are your thoughts on Chainlink? Do you like the project and what is your price prediction for 2021 and beyond? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below as we'd be interested to hear your ideas about the price action of Chainlink in the future. If you'd like to support the channel more directly, you can sign up to our Patreon via the link in the description below, where you can get access to our private Discord. Currently only 20% of viewers are subbed, and we'd love to see our community grow more, so hit the big red button. Please like and subscribe. We are Crypto Maximalists.